back in the workshop again. Um, got a nice little piece of U. I'll be turning today. I might um, do a border around the rim. Do a little groove. Put some um, some wax crayons in it, and then put the air gun over it to melt them a little bit, and then throw some resin. Got it to the shape, um, but my chopping system's not working. It won't fire up for some reason. So I've got a bit of tear out in the grain on the end grain here again. Um, yeah, and a few tool marks I can't get rid of. I can't sharpen my bulb gauge, get a nice fine cut to get rid of the end grain. And I'll start sanding at 60 grit, see what that does. <laughs> Sand at the 600 grit, um, Silo Sand Sealer and um, Yorkshire grit. Put some wax on, just gonna buff it in now. I got the bulb flip round, just gonna tie the flush the face up and then work out when I do this inlay. Right, so I reckon about there ish.
Right, so that being the inlay, edge of the bowl and the edge of the inside. So I'm going to just hug all this out then. I need to get my shoveling system going. Oh, so annoying. Right, I've had a couple of experiments and they've both been a bit of a fail. But I think what I need to do is put a white down as a base colour and then put the, the other colours over the top and then use a heat gun. So I'm going to try that. I had a bit of a nightmare with the, um, the crayon idea. It all just blended in with one colour. So again with plan B now, which is a copper wire twisted in the groove, just going to fill it with some resin, and which I'm going to weigh out now. Just about got enough. That was lucky. I've added the um the white gothic pearl. I'm just gonna mix it in for a couple of minutes now. Just gonna pour it really slowly into this into this groove now. Oh slowly. Right, the resin's cured. It's been cured for about a week, five or six days. I'm just going to start sanding it back with some um, 60 grit. I've sanded the resin up to 600 grit. I'm just going to start hogging the inside out now, see how that goes.
that's all the inside hogged out just going to do a bit of sanding sign at um, 120 grit Sanded the inside to 600. Um, just going to use some cellulose sand sealer, then some Yorkshire grit, some microphone Yorkshire grit, there's some wax just to finish it off. I stick on a time lag that's a bit all, all a bit boring. the lathe polished all up and it's not great to be honest this little bit here got an extra bit at the top it's touching here and on the inside the end um, the copper wire <coughs> then it's touching on the outside here then back again on the inside and back again on the outside so yeah it's not great but I don't know really it do. <laughs> I flipped it round. I'm just going to tidy up the foot. Got the um, back end little tied up now. I've just got um, four little holes here from the tailstock. I was trying to find the centre. I could have turned the whole foot away, but I want to keep the foot on it. I think bowls 
with the foot look quite pretty. So I'm going to try and sand these out. One of them is quite deep. I'm going to try and sand it out and then take it from there. I got it all finished up. Not happy with it. The wood's alright, just the resin and this copper wire. It's not in the centre, and I know why, because I made the, the groove quite wide to do um the wax, candle wax, um crayon wax. But that was a fail. So I thought I'd go with the copper wire. Because the um the groove's wider than the copper wire, the copper wire's all moved about everywhere. It's like close here, then it's up against this edge, then it's back over here, then it's back over here again, it's back here. There's more showing in and there's showing there. There's an extra bit there, I don't know where that's come from. But yeah, not the best, but I think I'm pretty sure I've done one before. I've done a video of one of these before. If you want to go back and have a look at that one, I would put a link up here, but I don't know how to do that. Um, how big is it? Seven inches by a tad over two. There's the base. I like a little foot, it looks quite nice with a little foot on it. Just makes it like, like it's floating a little bit, you know? Yeah, quite nice. Anyway, if you want to go back and watch the other one, you're more than welcome. And thanks for watching.